Do we go there? Oh, just if you're in the car, you might want to pull over. Just give yourself a little bit of resting space because this could go anywhere. Well. Uh, do you want to know, me to tell you before we get him on what I copped? Yeah, I, I, I copped Jim. You're the president of a club. <laughs> get your pathetic frame puffed out and do something about this. Well, That's what I copped. I copped. Jim won't do anything because he's a president of the club. He <laughs> can do something. Well, let's get to uh, the 300 game superstar from the Cats. Fossil, welcome to uh, Triple M Football. I've been asked to remain calm. <laughs> What the hell is going on? <laughs> now listen to me. Now listen to me. I know you can cut me off and talk over me because the man who controls the knobs has the power. <laughs> but first of all, I'm outside the county court as we speak. <laughs> I'm trying to get a out-of-court decision or session open so I can file a suit against the stupidity of the umpiring fraternity. So I might have to break off if they allow me in and I'll sign the documents. <laughs> now, first of all, I am not a spokesman for the Geelong Football Club. I'm ambivalent. I don't really mind if they win or not. I hope they win because I've played there for 18 years. And secondly, congratulations. Congratulations to Ross Lyon. He's a damn fine man. But listen to me, please. And Mark Thompson's comments were very sensible and measured. But listen to me, please. You cannot have this unbelievable situation go on every single time we play football. Jeff Keeshan, it's over, Jeff. Pack up, mate. Go to a holiday island. Relax. Settle down. What hair you've got left, sweep it back off your brow and enjoy life. You cannot have Jeff Geeshan come on three weeks ago when Hawthorne played the Crows over in Adelaide when it was raining heavily and he said we were too pedantic, we were overzealous, we should let the game go, which they did in the second half of this game last night until one second before the game ends and you have the most ridiculous, petty decision and I'm congratulating St Kilda. I'm not saying this. I'm not squealing about Geelong. But this is going to turn into a absolute bloodbath one day. You cannot ask people to play football and go in hard for the game and have the ball not paid, decisions not paid for 40 minutes and suddenly in the last minute, last second, have that. That is a disgrace. And I'll tell you what. I'm not saying the umpires are corrupt. I'm not. And I'm not saying they're on the take, and I'm not. But my opinion is they have an agenda. Their agenda is to be noticed, to be puffed up like preening turkeys, to actually have the talk of the town about them and no one else. It is an absolute disgrace in the wet. It's insulting. It's demeaning. And I'll tell you what, unless we do something about it, this will go on and on. You cannot have games given to sides and they well earned it. I'm not saying the decision, uh, I'm not knocking the decision about St Kilda winning good on them, but I'll tell you what, the AFL would say it's okay, Rowan Sawyers would say it's okay, and so would St Kilda. What else would they say? It is absolutely disgraceful that this game can be down to a man or a bunch of men preening and posturing in the name of getting noticed. Well, d d tell us what you really think. Don't just no, sit back no, no, there. Come on. Yeah, now you, as yes. a commentator, Spud, if you're ever going to get emotional over something, God's sake, man, get emotional over the fact that you cannot let games be won by decisions which are never paid for a half of football and suddenly they pull one out the most passive no, that's decision not true. you will Stokes, ever find. Sam, Stokes in the third quarter, uh, Montaigne, I think, went in hard. Letter of the law was there. It was a, a bit of a head-eye brush to Stokes' head in the third quarter. He went back and kicked a goal. So, But when you have a look at the replay, yes, there was head-eye contact. And in the flow, you think, gee, that free kick might have been a little bit soft. So we can, uh, we can pick out a, a few free kicks too at uh, St. Land as well. No, mate, I'm not, I'm not an, I'm not an apology, apologist for Geelong. I congratulate St. No, Kilda. You don't have to say that. We know yeah. that. Well, all they've got to do, St Kilda, is win the game, and they did in Geelong. I, I'm, 
I, I've been saying this for a number of years, and they have been very successful, John, but they handled the ball too much, far too much in the first half of the game. Then they knuckled down, and the Saints, Saints hung on, and fantastic. But that is an absolute travesty of what this game's about. That is not in the spirit of the game, to pull in the driving rain a kick out in the last second of the game, which actually probably sinks any side's chance of taking the major trophy at the end of the Samuel, year. Samuel, Sammy. Did he yes. fall? Did he push him in the back? Now, Gary. No, I'm asking you well, a question. Well, 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 did he push him in the back? I, I want to put it in context, Gary. Well, it's in hard every, to put... In every contest on a football field, there is a virtual free kick. Every single one. It's either a minute of a second you hang on to the man too long or a minute of a second that the man hangs on to the ball too long. But I'm only going to go back to Jeff Geeshan. Jeff Geeshan said three weeks ago we were overzealous, we were too pedantic, and in the rain over in Adelaide, that is how you should umpire wet weather football. The ball had gone. It had nothing to do with the play itself. Yeah, but that doesn't cr- mean you can't play a free kick just because well, the ball's I'm, gone. Gary, Gary it, 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 I'm, I'm just going to repeat again. Jeff Geeshan, the ma- Jeff, please pack up, go to uh, the Hayman Islands, please go away. You, uh, uh, Jeff Geeshan said himself... The umpires were too overzealous, they're too pedantic, they're too finicky, they don't relax, they don't stand back. He mightn't have said these words exactly, but this was what he was getting at, and he made reference to the game in the wet, in the wet. He made reference to the game in Hawthorne and the Crows about how wonderful it was that they let the game go, and the players who got the ball, unless there was a free kick, actually while someone was hanging on to the ball or getting rid of it, this was neither of those two things, this was a disgrace. Disgraceful hijacking of our great game's now, spirit. Now, Fossil, we've uh, got that all out, Ian. We thank you very much for uh, giving it to us. Are you going to be able to relax now and enjoy the rest of your Saturday? No, I've got to remain calm. I'm going inside now. I'm going in to see if I can get some paperwork, and I'm going to take out a petition, and we have got to address this problem, or there will be a field invasion one day. All right, Foss, thank you. We uh, love hearing from you on Triple M Football.